too. Yeah, you know, we're, we're tracking some uh, rain shafts out there. Not real heavy rainfall, but in Las Cruces this afternoon, our Jalen Lewis was out there and he ran into a thunderstorm there and you can see some of the rain coming down pretty good. This was just right right before three o'clock this afternoon, but some areas picked up some pretty good amounts of rainfall. And if you go ahead and take a look at our Doppler rainfall estimates right here, there's Spruce Avenue, North Main Street. Uh, right here, there is Roadrunner Parkway, and this was the area on the East Mesa that picked up a decent amount of rain. Doppler radar estimates indicating maybe around a half an inch of rain outside of that area, about a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Here's what we're tracking on Doppler radar. Not a whole lot. I mean, we don't have a lot of colors. We have the greens here, which is indicative of some moderate rainfall, some light rainfall around Clint and well south of Socorro, right along the international border. It's all making its way towards the west and northwest and then in around Donietta County right around Vado Speedway a little light rain perhaps occurring over there some of it may be just hitting the ground very lightly and look at Hatch good thunderstorms rolling through town there you go along Interstate 25 so starting to pick up some uh, decent rain in and around the Hatch area although that cell is beginning to uh, weaken just a bit moving to the northwest at uh, 12 miles an hour up in the Hatch area. And then you get around White Sands, Holloman Air Force Base, Alamogordo, a few isolated showers and storms that are ongoing over there. First alert day tomorrow, too. We're looking at 104. The record is 105. These bottom numbers in yellow are the record highs for these dates. You can see how temperatures will come down a little bit, but we're still going to be talking about triples in the month of August, at least for the first week or so. 37. With the triple today, with the 105 we hit today, that gives us now 37. This time last year, we had 48. You folks in Las Cruces officially hit a triple-digit temperature today as well. Gives you 25. This time last year, you had 39. Now, typically, once we head into August, we don't tend to see many triples. August 3rd is usually the cutoff date for triple-digit temperatures, but that hasn't been the routine over the past many years now. Uh, last August, we had 14 triples in the month of August and we also had triples in September. Overnight tonight, temperatures down to 70-70, a 10% chance of some isolated rain showers in here tonight. 104 tomorrow, so it will be another hot day as we kick off your weekend. 72 in Las Cruces, your high temp overnight tomorrow and as we make our way throughout your Saturday at 101. Watch over the next several days. So we go 103, first alert day because of the heat. Monday at 100 and then we'll continue with temperatures right around 100 as we look ahead to next week. Las Cruces for you. You're going to be looking at temperatures right around 100 degrees as well. Your chance of rain will be isolated, little pop-up thunderstorms in the forecast, and that will continue into next week for you.